As Xander walked casually out through the town gates, he was reciting a long incantation over and over again. He stopped just a few meters away from the gate and looked down at his papers, frustrated that his mind wasn't assimilating the information fast enough for him to make his master proud. His task today was to gather a few species of mushrooms from the forest nearby. He swung the little basket forth on his arm and continued reciting the verses loudly whilst heading toward the tree line with clownish stomps. Xander was too enmeshed in his studies to even hear the wing beats before it was too late. He didn't even make it to the tree line. He only had time to spin around and start yelling when the winged beast swooped down and picked him up. He kept yelling all the way to the dragon's cave. By the great winds, fellow, I think there's not a living soul in this whole valley that hasn't heard you. The dragon chimed with surprising eloquence and a high-pitched voice for one of his kind. It then kicked a massive boulder with its back legs into the opening of the cave, effectively blocking the exit. Xander tripped over the rocky ground when he was finally placed down. He took a moment to reorient and then briskly assumed a defensive stance. I'm warning you, dragon. I'm a mage's apprentice and I will not perish without a fight. He gasped for air while his limbs trembled. But the dragon looked less than impressed. A small sphere of swirling fire energy grew in Xander's trembling hand. I will use this. I'll put that thing away and show some manners. The dragon gestured its talon over the boy's raised arm, startling him, and then proceeded to walk past him. Xander panicked, and the little ball of fire flew from his hand and hit the beast on its collarbone like a puff of harmless sparkles. I made supper for us, he casually continued, as if nothing happened, and sat next to a candlelit table. Come join me. Xander looked perplexed at the exit of the cave, and then at the table. It had an enormous chunk of charred meat on it, along with some mangled candles. There was a chair too, which he sheepishly went and sat on. The dragon battered his front paws on the cave's floor, having a ferociously silly grin on his face. His body was speckled with black spots over pastel purples and pale yellows. His colours seemed to match his sunny attitude. So what's your name? Xander? The boy looked around for a fork or a knife. Nice to meet you, Xander. I'm Galen the Clucking. So you're a mage's apprentice. Does that mean you know riddles? Mages like riddles. Tell me a riddle. Uh... If you don't know riddles yet, it's okay. Do you like hearing stories? I have a very exciting story I could tell. Excuse me, dragon, but what's this all about? Xander asked with a half-trembling voice. Galen looked offended at his question. Are you implying that my hosting is of poor taste? I... Uh, Xander looked at the charred piece of meat and then back at the dragon. No, I mean, why did you kidnap me? Do you plan to kill me or just keep me prisoner? Ah, yes, always the fearful humans. Dear fellow, after I am satisfied with this social exchange, I swear on my honour that you will return to your town safely. Well, why do you need me for that? Aren't there some other dragons that you'd rather talk to? Xander threw his arms up in a mild display of exasperation. Sadly, no. So far, I have yet to meet one of my kind who would rather talk instead of scorch, kill, and then hide back in their dark caves. And don't get me wrong, they can talk. It's just more of a matter of... Uh... Galen rotated his wrist while trying to find the right word. Solitude. They prefer a silent and claustrophobic solitude while I have hungered many years for a companion, or multitude of companions, to share my thoughts and stories with. Xander felt suddenly constrained, and the cave felt heavy with silence. Galen snorted a puff of air that flickered the candle lights. I vowed to not kill you, boy. What are you afraid of? He asked, irritated. I... I... It's not that. You see... Great Galen... I can also relate with a dragon's need for solitude. Zela spoke softly, regretting every word as it left his lips. The massive beast slammed his fist on the floor with anger. Blast it! Just my accursed luck to hide one of those humans who don't want to be friendly either! Then he laid his rest on his talons, looking away in disappointment. Xander felt a spike of guilt in his heart. I... I apologise that I'm not being a gracious guest for you. If it helps amend for my poor manners, 
I would love to hear some of your stories. Galen looked up with a sparkle in his eye. Truly? Xander nodded. And tomorrow, perhaps you would like to meet my clucking sister. He grinned maliciously. Huzzah! I am in debt to you, Xander, Mage's Apprentice. This day I shall not forget for eons to come. Now, which story would you like to hear first? Hmm. Perhaps the tales of my parents, Garanoth the Silent and Avira the Hasty? 